I'm really proud that that these guests can come on and talk about things that they don't share. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. Tommy's here to talk about the, po- <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> so, you know, we have Ralph Macchio on the show tomorrow. I love Ralph. And in here, do you know him? Have you met him? I've never met him, but he's an, he's an OG. He's a legend. I mean, come on, Karate Kid. He's the best. And I was telling you, I just had the actress who plays his daughter in Cobra Kai on my iHeart show. I've never said this before. You know what? Uh, by the way, Tommy's, Tommy's, I'd never said this before, is his incredibly, highly, highly loved podcast. Which yeah. getting, it's getting a lot of buzz. Isn't it like one of the top in the country right now? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It just hit number two for all entertainment news shows. And right. like, wait, 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 thank wait, hold you. On. Who beat you? <laughs> Who's number one? God, I have to, I have to find that it out. Doesn't we, matter. We got to knock them out out of the top. It but does. it's, it's been awesome. Like People Magazine, Entertainment Weekly, Hollywood Reporter have all been putting out these amazing articles about the show, and it's really become known as this place where these stars want to come on and share something that they've never said before. And yes, we dive into the projects that fans love. Like Mary Mauser from Cobra Kai is on my show this week, and we talk all about the final season of Cobra Kai. It's but the then, final season. It, it is. Wait, well, I didn't know that. It's it's six, it's season six. Yeah. I didn't know. It was final, final season part one is out now, and then they drop the other parts, you know, later in the year. I hate how they do that. Yeah, they got to keep us wanting more. They got to keep us wanting more. But right. she was amazing, and we talked about you know the show and and how she's dealing with it coming to an end, and you know just how much this role means to her playing Ralph Macchio's daughter. In fact, she said she still gets really kind of giddy when her phone buzzes and Ralph's name pops up and she's like, oh my god, I can't believe Ralph Macchio is texting me, which I think is all of us, right? We all would feel that way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's an incredible episode and she really dives into the series, um, but I'm really proud that that these guests can come on and talk about things that they don't share. And in the last you know month, we've had everyone, um, we've had people talking about things from you know a very popular male actor, Bob Morley said he struggles with his body and body dysmorphia to um, people opening up about postpartum for the first time to mental health struggles. So it's really a unique space in this interviewing world where you get to hear a different side to these people. And that's good. Yeah, and you know me. Like I, I cover, I also work on Extra, which I love, and those people are my family. But sometimes on a red carpet, you get such little time, right? You get like two minutes and the PR person's hovering over you and tapping you and they're like, we got to go. And yeah. you don't get to have a really in-depth conversation. So that's what I love about this show. It gives people that, that platform. Well, I'm very, very happy that you got to ride our coattails with one of your incredible <laughs> interviews. That's right. With a guy named Matteo. I don't remember if you remember. Did you interview Matteo? Bocelli. Bocelli. Oh. Bocelli. Yeah. You like that? Yes. The, the tequila is coming out now. Bocelli. Oh, no. He's the most amazing. Uh, He's amazing. He's incredible. I, what a great human being. I love talking to him, and I love that he carved out a space for him aside from his father, right? He's really doing his own thing. His album's amazing. He's such a gifted artist. And next week, I don't know if you all like the TV show The Boys. I love it. I am a super fan. My husband and I are obsessed. Like, we just, we love the show so much, and I have Karen Fukuhara on the show, um, and she plays Kamiko, and she's amazing and she dives into this final season and we hear a lot of wait they're in the final season too yeah well wait i'm sorry the final season's coming out she dives into the second to last final season but she talks about what she wants to see in the final season the final season doesn't come out till 2026 why are these great shows ending they're leaving us i'm having well because as she said the story that was meant to be told has been told and and you don't want to drag something along too far long that's you know yeah. already got a good thing going because you can risk ruining it so that's what happened th- with this show hey we oh my <laughs> god we, we, we gotta dra- go out on a high <laughs> we, dra- we, dra- on a high. we dragged it out for 30 years and now it's like enough yeah you know but she's amazing and we dive into this final season and i don't it's it's full of spoilers so if you're not caught up you know be careful listening to this episode but it's incredible and my favorite thing is she talks about who she wants to face off against in the final season oh, wow and wow. i'm not going to share who you got to listen to find out god. but it's it's good i gotta pick i gotta pick the boys back up because that that is such a great show my favorite is when the guy ran up the guy's penis hole <laughs> oh yeah and then, he, and then it, everything exploded it was crazy oh. can you imagine someone doing that to you no i can't i don't want to no <laughs> okay <laughs> no i'll just i'll carry that that can on you my imagine own. oh my goodness what if someone ran up you oh and, no it exploded
<laughs> I already had two babies. I they exploded. Out Danielle's of good. She's like, no, I'm I don't want it. I'm I don't all want good. it. Well, that's what's crazy about this show is they deal with all these like sexual and political and crazy issues and put it in the show in a really funny way that seems to make sense. And you don't know how it makes sense, but it does. You know, it's so good. The boys is genius, and this episode is so wonderful. You know, what's crazy is a lot of these actors when they do their press tours, it's these short little clips you get, right? And and they don't have a lot of time, as I was saying earlier, to to dive into what the fans want to hear and she really breaks down this final season and it's so interesting to hear from her perspective because let me tell you she is nothing like her character well, her character is like angry and, and and dark and will rip your head off and she's like the sweetest cutest little thing well that's called <laughs> acting i guess i, I mean, guess so but she's yeah. great i mean when her character first came onto the scene which is first season wasn't it yeah. i do believe so i mean i was afraid of her character i mean mm -hmm. she was just Tough. She's rough. Where, where's this necklace? I gave from? that to you. I put that on you. What's You're welcome. It's a happy birthday necklace. Yeah. <laughs> like, it lights up. You got to press the button and light it up. I just realized I'm wearing a necklace. <laughs> well, light it up. Come, there you go. Here, you come light on. it up. All right. I, I'll light. Anyway, this, by the way, if you're just turning us on, uh, Tommy D'Addario's here. Am I saying your name correctly? They say I always mess it up. No, you don't. It, it, you it, can say it 15 ways. If you really want to be authentic in Italian. Let me guess. D'Addario. D'Addario. Yeah, right. D'Addario. Give me a little pizzazz, Elvis. Come on. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge.